Buongiorno. Mi amo Thomas. Mi amo Brandon. And it's cha mm, ciao? Or ciao. Buongiorno. Buongiorno's French. Uh, bonjour is French. Buongiorno is Italian, I think. Anyway, hi, I'm Thomas with Believe in the Run. I'm Brandon with Believe in the Run. And before we get started with this fascinating review, Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel here and like this video. It really helps us out. It gets the algorithm going. It helps us. I feel really uneven right now, actually. <laughs> Why don't you put another shoe on? No, I just... He has one shoe. Look at the stack height on this. He's got one shoe on, one on. I'm one like shoe tilting on. over and just like... I'm out. <laughs> All right, I'll just All right. take it off. Let's get started. Today we're talking about the Diodora Blue Shield Mythos Bigore. This guy, sort of a surprise. Yeah, on paper, it's definitely a surprise. On paper, this shoe would never work no, no, for no, me. No, 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 absolutely not. On foot, kind of work. Definitely does work on foot, a hundred percent. And so, uh, Thomas, why don't we just kind of start with what this shoe is all about? So this is Diodora's stability shoe. It's also a daily trainer. It's a max cushion daily trainer, as you can tell. There's crazy amounts of stack here. Really well cushioned. Uh, and so let's jump into the upper. So you've got an engineered mesh upper, really works really well. What you're not gonna see is how much engineering went into this lacing system. So it's yeah. kind of hidden, especially in my shoes since it's different, it, yours is a different color. Mine is black on black, but it's kind of got like a gusset situation going on with the lacing yep. that holds you in place. The tongue is nice and padded. The heel counter and collar is nicely padded. It's airy over the toes. It has a nice toe down appearance for running. The upper also has a few TPU overlays, which I found to be pretty nice. Just kind of helps with the construction of the shoe a little bit. This Definitely. shoe does a great job. The upper does a great job of keeping your foot locked in over the footbed, which is good because this is a substantial footbed. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. It's just, there is just a lot of chunk going on here in this shoe. And let's go, let's talk about the midsole a little bit. All right, so you can see the blue shield through this little window here. It runs all the way through the midsole. Yeah, definitely. And it's actually really comfortable and it's extremely well cushioned under the foot. It's like little like yeah, the, bubbles almost. It's like small little micro bubbles that run through the entire shoe. So there's like bubble, 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 bubble. Yeah, like I'm so just like gives popping you, all the bubbles. It just kind of gives you that nice feel underfoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. When you look through this little this little piece here, this little plastic piece, what is this plastic piece here? That's the TRX system. Mm, so what does the TRX system do? So another feature you're gonna see after you notice the window with our blue shield in it is this TRX system coming up here. So that adds a little support from the medial to the lateral side, kind of keeping it more rigid. This is a stability trainer. You're also gonna see full coverage here on the medial oh, side yeah, 100%. to give you that support mm. uh, through your run. Let's talk a little bit about the foam. And the foam is actually a DD Anima midsole. DD Anima. So the DD Anima is really nice underfoot. Feels really cushioned. It's got that, I don't know, I had to compare it to something. It's kind of got that Hoka-esque feel with a little more I bounce. Agree. I would agree. It's it's mainly, it, its main focus is shock absorption. When you're rolling through your stride, you wanna make it feel like as much of a pillow as possible, and that's what Diodora is trying to achieve here. While it's well cushioned, and I really like the DD Anima, it does have a nice energy return feel. This shoe is loaded with outsole rubber. I mean, this is a ton. Oh of my God. Rubber. Yeah, there is a ton of this, and it's actually called Duratec 5000 outsole. Could you get 5,000 miles in this shoe? I think you get a ton of miles on this shoe, so it's gonna, it's gonna hold up. All this stuff, though, ends up making this shoe a little bit on the heavy side. Yeah, there's just so much of it here, and it's just even like thrown in the air. It's like, yeah, it's like a baseball. So for my size 10 and a half, this is 12.2 ounces or 346 grams, which is a lot of grams. Yeah, and as for the drop, it's gonna be about 10 millimeters, 34 in the heel and 24 in the toe. Now, normally a shoe this heavy, and when I pulled it out of the box, I was like, hmm, this isn't gonna work. With this much rubber, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy running in this. I kind of put it off for a little while, Brandon, you went out for a run. You kind of talked me into it. Yeah, so I, I I did my first run in this shoe and it was a 12 mile run, which is like pretty aggressive. 
and I went out for it and I was just, I found myself really picking up the pace, enjoying the shoe, enjoying the run. And I was just like, I texted Thomas, Meg, and Robbie later, and I was like, guys, this shoe is a great shoe. You gotta try it on. Forget about the weight, just go out and try it. It's super well cushioned, really well padded. You'll be surprised. I think you'll be blown away by how much you like it. And I kind of was, I took it out. I really enjoyed my miles in this shoe. It's very smooth, it's very cushioned. It just feels great underfoot. I was doing shorter runs in it, six miles at a time, so I wasn't really feeling the weight of the shoe as much as I think I would have on a 12 mile run. I do also like the shoe for its look, so for me, this is definitely one of those shoes if I was on vacation or something, I wanted to take one shoe and be able to wear it when I go out, wear it when I want to go for a run. This shoe fits the bill. I really like it and just for comfort wise, just standing, even if you're not running, just standing around, I enjoyed just having this shoe on my foot. Yeah, the shoe definitely does it all. Like Thomas said, you take it out for a run and then you go hang out with your mates after, or maybe you're on vacation, whatever you, whatever Hang out with be. your mates. Yeah, exactly, hang out with the lads. All right, Brandon, what do you give this shoe? I'm giving this shoe the green light. I'm probably gonna go with a yellow light just because of the weight. Okay. But overall, as a shoe that you'll enjoy running in, I could give it a green light. So we're now we're back to green light. Yeah, I mean, it goes both ways. All right, but it, I think it's a preference thing. Yeah, yeah. It, if you can get over the weight and enjoy running it, the shoe feels good underfoot. It's not gonna be any speed demon. I did try it for some of my strides and when I was doing the strides, that's where the shoe fell apart yeah, for me. Yeah, it definitely. just can't handle any don't, kind of speed. Don't do any speed work in this shoe. It's not, it's not gonna hold up really well for you, but just, Easy slow days where your your legs are feeling like crap. This is a great this is a great shoe. So if you didn't already, like and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Check us out on Instagram. Strava, where else can they find Strava? Drop. We have two podcasts that you can listen to. We have Fuel for the Soul and the Drop Podcast. So yeah, mm -hmm. all check, the great stuff. Check out all the stuff. All the things. Yeah, and uh, keep tuning in for more of these yeah. videos. Where else yeah. are you gonna get this? Oh, and subscribe. Like. Do it right now, like we'll wait. Mm. Have you done it yet? Mm. All right, thanks, appreciate that. Wait a minute. What shoe are we talking about today? We are talking about the Diodora Blue Shield Vigore? Vigor? Mythos Vigor. Mythos Vigor. Yeah, try that again. We are talking about the Diodora Mythos Blue Shield Vigor. No, you a. got it wrong again. Want hell? to try it again? It's the Blue Diodora Shield. Blue Shield Mythos, Mythos Vigor. Vigor. All, right. All right, and today we are talking about the Diodora Mythos Blue Shield Vigor. No, you did it Blue wrong Shield. again. <laughs> you did it. All right, all right. All right.